Hello, welcome back to 3D Drawing View Model Railway. We're going to continue on uh, in today's lesson looking at the uh, jib runner wagon, and we're specifically going to be looking at the cradle for the jib. Uh, it's not particularly obvious in these photos, but I believe that these is, this is a two part cradle. This part is um, fixed to the wagon with a pivot point coming down the middle. So I'm going to draw it as two separate parts with the intention of using. Um, some sort of like metal rod as a pivot so that it's got strength and won't snap off um, because obviously the, as, we, as the wagon and the crane are going around, around the corners this is going to need the pivot as well. So we'll start off by drawing this, this bottom part here. Um, this is going to be primarily made up of just extrusions on various different planes. Okay so jumping into fusion here if we turn on our sketch um, canvas, we can see what we've got here. We've got um, like a rectangular panel with a triangle on the end, and then the three diagonal uprights are coming up here. Uh, if we rotate it round, looking on the right hand side, I think it's that. We do have a canvas here. So, what we could do is just move this canvas across now. So, if we edit the canvas. And then we'll drag this horizontally across and try and line this up. Let's turn off the crane body and chassis. So we're just looking at the runner here. Okay, so that's lined up horizontally. Mid midlines where it should be. So we've now got a position where we can start to draw our, our offset plane. Um, yeah, it's slightly out of line, but uh, vertically, uh, but I'm going to work with what we've got here. So if we click on OK on that, we can now start to draw this. So first thing I want to do is create a offset plane from that inside profile. I'm going to drag that in line with where the vertical upright is here. Okay, so if we rotate this back around, we have a side profile. Okay, we can draw on that offset plane we just created. And we use the line tool for this. So I'm going to draw from there now. I'm not going to snap uh, that. Find the height of move and then we can constrain that to the bottom. So we find this height first so this didn't move down and we snapped it to the bottom here. If we had just done that coincident constraint first it would move this point down as well. So next I'm going to draw across so I'll go six millimeters six point not five millimeters that down diagonally again it's going to snap now because I've already got this creating a position there and I'm just going to draw a line across there just to close that off I'm going to define the angle here so that's fine and I'm going to define distance along that bottom equally as fine there It's going to want to be fine the distance from another point horizontally. Okay, good. Okay, so if we extrude this, um, I'll do two sided extrusion. Uh, actually, I'm going to do symmetrical extrusion. Sorry, so it does the same each side. I'm going to do 0 0.25. So we're going to have a half a millimetre thick panel there. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is I'm going to draw these three diagonal uprights here. If we have a look on the photographs, you can, you can actually see in the photograph that there is an offset between them. This gap here definitely looks much bigger than this, which does match up, tally up nicely with the, the plan we've got here. 
Okay, let's just turn those two cancels off a second so we can see, and we're going to create an offset plane on that vertical face. We'll turn the canvas back on, we're going to drag that. Yeah, roughly nice, it's half a millimeter has come back, so it's in line with that profile. Okay, if we turn the end profile on now, we can see. Uh, to bring this down slightly so it lines up. We edit that canvas. Bring it down. Bring it down a little bit. Half a millimeter, I'd like to bring that down. Okay, so uh, now we can draw on that offset plane which was created and we're going to draw a diagonal line. It's not going to snap to the top, unfortunately. We just draw a diagonal line initially, get it to coincidence to the top corner, and then we'll Come down roughly the right angle, and then I'm going to tell it to coincidence two. Undo that. Oh, yeah, of course, that's going to happen. If we just drag that in, as long as it's going to be inside that edge, it's going to be a pain to get it to snap that edge because there's no point. You can't coincidence that with that line, unfortunately. Okay, so that's going inside that body, so that should close that off when we do this. Okay, so we've just created a, a triangle, it's overlapping in the floor. We rotate this round side and side view, and I'm going to extrude it uh, 0.3, I think. Tell it to join. Turn the canvas off so you can see what we're looking at. So because because that line goes in below the floor here, it's just going to create that triangle effect like we're after there. Okay, so we turn the canvas back on. Next thing we want to do is pattern that feature. So if we select features and select the feature we want. So it's, it's joined the whole thing. So pattern the whole thing across, which isn't what we're after. So we're going to have to do faces. We can select that face, that front face, and the side face. We can then select direction horizontally we're only going to want two of them get in line with the line on the drawing and then we do the same again we do uh, the pattern we can select the pattern feature we should be able to nope the faces again Select those three faces. Direction horizontally. Again, so we have two of them, and then we can get in line with the line on the sketch. Okay, 
bit. So you see how we've got those three lines there. Turn the canvas off and see what we achieve. Okay, so the next thing you've noticed is there's a little triangle fillet in here. We can draw that. Back into fusion. It's the same on both sides. So we'll create an offset plane from the base on the sketch. No, it's not. So we need to bring that upwards slightly. Have a look at the picture. It's about a foot up, so not two millimeters. Okay. And then we can create a sketch on that profile. Draw a diagonal line and snap it to that profile. And so we can then transplant it to that side profile as well. Then we define the distance that we want. You can see how if I define that distance now as 1.5 millimeters, it moves it outwards. So it looks like it comes to the very end here. Let me see if you, yeah, you can see it pretty much does. Um, so we're going to have to try and extend that. Seven. So four. Seven, eight. There we go. And then we're going to create some thickness on this. Um, so we need to work out how far the dimension across here. Um, the easiest way to do that is to add a profile dimension in there called an angle. It's very difficult to tell because it's not clear for photo. Let me see if I've got another one that matches better. Okay, this is about the best one I've got, and you can see it doesn't go halfway across. So I'm going to define that as let's say 35 degrees. Yeah, I'm going to go with that. And then I'm going to extrude this downwards. Not very thick, not 0.5 is way too much. I'm going to go uh, 0.25, I think, or half that. Yeah. Okay, so the last thing I'm going to draw on the top here. No, actually, I'm going to draw the side here first. I'm going to draw this bit across first. Um, so if we do a simple extrusion across the side here, so we use this back profile and do a rectangle shape, which connects to both corners. I'm going to initially say I want it to be two millimeters, but I might change that in a second once I look at end profile canvas that we've got doesn't show it. That's a pain. Okay, so I think I'm just gonna go do it by eye. I'm looking at this picture, it looks about a foot. So I am gonna go with a two mil down. Uh, so the next thing I'm gonna do is we need to extrude this level with the center plane. So that when we mirror over it will mirror with it. I have to join. Just check that hasn't joined all the previous bits. No, that one hasn't. Let's have a quick look where that is. There we go. Now, if we go back in that history, and that's caused that to join up now. Okay, so this is um, recessed in here on both sides. So what I'm going to do on this end, just create a sketch on that side profile. Get snap to that corner, so another particular position that uh, holds on to this fine. And I'm going to go 1.6 millimeters, no, 1.7 millimeters down to find that top height. extrude it inwards just by one millimeter so it's minus one to get it to cut 
something and then on this side slightly different because we need to draw the bottom bit coming outwards so draw that end profile again rectangle at the bottom here snap to the side so 8.75 and then 0.35 and then we're going to extrude this forwards until it reaches the end you snap on the end like that it sort of overhangs slightly which is not what you want so we're looking for a come in slightly so we're going to go 0 0.7 there perfect join okay now if we look at the, the picture it has got a plate on the top as well so we'll draw that and that plate will go all the way actually slightly larger than the top surface here so we need to start like there and then work our way outwards um, so horizontally vertically that line to be that corner and two corners like that and we define the distance to be there, uh, it's 0.2. Distance on the end here, it's 0.2. And I guess let's just check this end. So it's level with the top. need to select all the profiles now and then we'll extrude these upwards. I'm just going to do that as 0.25. Okay so the last thing I'm going to do on this base part is drill the hole that the centre pin will go down. So if we rotate this to the top surface, create a sketch on this top plane here. And we'll use the hole, use the select the edge, come across to the midpoint, and I'm going to draw it two millimeters and then extrude all the way through to the base. So, yeah, only doing drawing half of this, but obviously, when we mirror this over, it will just copy across both parts. Okay, so I'm going to end this episode here and I'm going to come back and draw the top part in the next episode. I hope you've enjoyed watching today's lesson. If you have, please make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can come back and watch me finish off this top part here.